Okay, so uh, hi, uh, I'm uh, Maxim McKinley. I'm a composer, part of the True North uh, project. I'm born in Sherbrooke, which is part of a region called uh, Eastern Township, and I have lots of memories as a, as a child, especially during the, the winter, the snow and the light, the, this, this, the, the special uh, light reflecting on snow and I have lots of like uh, physical memory of that. It was also a city, Sherbrooke, where there was lots of uh, industry for, for paper. And you find actually these both polarities that serve as an inspiration in my movement. The movement uh, I'm working on in that project is the second one, like transitoire, I would say in French. Like there's some kind of transition from uh, the first piece uh, by Dinouk and the third movement by Derek that are like extremely, extremely different. Go from nature to industrialization. I would try to, to gradually go from this like a mood A to a mood B. And at the beginning, I plan to work more with something more textural, more like a little bit more unpredictable. I want to use some some wind sound uh, that that I plan to be performed by the the, the brass section. Just like just like blowing their instruments, like just air like that. I would like to finish with some kind of rhythmical vitality of something like really organized. It would be more like working with patterns and in a more square way, you know, with, with some kind of mechanical repetitions and, and that make things ready for in the industrialization. I was interested in, in the, the books of uh, Nancy Houston. For me, uh, it created a connection since the, the, the project happened in Calgary and, and she's from Calgary and she talks about Calgary, it's present in her, some of her, her books and she also wrote about North in French it's uh, uh, Nord perdu in English I think it's losing North so I went to a, a library and I took a few books she talks about all, all these uh, questions like when identity become patriotism because now there's too much of predefinition and you know too much who you're supposed to be and where you are. If you, you just mix the cards a little bit, and traveling can be a, a good way, but probably that art also can be a good way. The things get like a little bit more complex and, and probably more interesting. I just keep that in mind and I think maybe it will contribute to, to uh, the inside world I am trying to, 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 to build for, for, for that, that project. Fleuve Saint Laurent, which is like extremely, extremely, extremely important in, in Quebec history, and, and also regarding links between people. The river is used a lot to go to a, a point A to a point B, what I kind of want to do uh, in, my, in my movement. There's some kind of power in the river. In the same time, this aspect of nature that can be uh, unpredictable, that has like its own rules that can be very mysterious for us. But also you have like this human organization. So, so in the river, I find the, these two aspect that interests me a lot in, 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 in that movement. I really never like had a strong sense of, of uh, one Canada. Like, th this is for me something that just doesn't work. It's more like a, a mosaic of many things, almost like a patchwork. Uh, and I, I, I think it, it's more interesting that way. These five composers together like re reflect that a lot. I, I don't think like that it's very productive like to to force some kind of false uniformity. I think it's much more interesting like to to respect the the, the differences without uh, intolerance.
and that can sound like very uh, I don't know what maybe uh, politically correct or uh, but so what I mean I think that it, it, it's it's a very very rich way of of uh, interacting with each other's.